Hey YouTube, Pipe Lawyer here, coming to you once again from Tobacco World, and today is Monday, May 17th, 2010, and it's the first day of my week-long series on rum tobacco blends. And, as you can see, I'm smoking my, one of my Boswell Umpals today, with a large size bowl to accommodate today's rum blend, which is, let me set my pipe down, I'm sure it'll go out, but, which is Cornell and Deal's Blockade Runner. Blockade Runner, a true Navy Cavendish crumble cake, hand stoved Red Virginia and Golden Virginia, soaked in a premium rum for seven days. And if you've no idea what crumble cake looks like, that's it. That's what came in my tin. Looks like a deglorified brownie. However, what you do is you take an implement, like a knife or something, and break it apart. And then what I do is I, I treat it like a flake from that point on, I just rub it so it crumbles more and then fold it if I have to and then put it in, in my pipe. And the reason it's soaked in rum for seven days, I found out through some research, <clears throat> is that if you look at the graphic there on the label you see a ship well that ship is called the blockade runner and the blockade runner would take its cargo from one of the islands and bring it over to the mainland and the length of time it took to make the journey was seven days so in honor of the length of the trip uh, they not only named the pipe blend itself blockade runner but they actually took the uh, pipe tobacco and soaked it in rum for the length of the journey. <clears throat> so that's a neat little bit of history behind the blend known as Blockade Runner by Cornell and Deal. Now upon opening the tin, let me set this down over here. When you open the tin, you get a very nice fragrance, almost sweet, mixed with some pungency also, of rum. And uh, it leads you to, to believe that's going to be a very savory smoke, a good tasting, good smelling smoke. <clears throat> And essentially it is, but what I find is that Blockade Runner as opposed to some of the other rum blends that I've sampled already is that unlike the other rum blends that I'll be featuring this week where the taste and the flavor and the aroma come to you with Blockade Runner you have to come to it it's as though Blockade Runner says you know meet me halfway you know and uh, I'll let you experience what I have to offer it's not sweet, or it's a very, very subtle sweetness. Um, I would almost begin to think that it's almost in English. It's got the kind of pungency to it. Uh, it's not candy sweet like a lot of other cheaper aromatics might tend to be. This is very deep, dark, earthy taste, almost, dare I say, opaque. 
It does not have what I would call brightness or bright flavors. It's definitely a uh, pipeline that's almost brooding, you know. Uh, it will take you some time to sit there and just concentrate on what you're smoking. And, and like I said, it, it makes you come to it rather than it coming to you, which it's okay. It's a satisfactory rum blend, but it's not satisfying to me anyway. Um, especially when I, I read that it says it's been soaked in rum, in premium rum, for seven days, and then I open the tin and it, and it has this great aroma of rum. I'm expecting for there to be a stronger presence of rum, and what I'm getting is a very almost like a licorice hints and a deep earthiness. So it's not a bad rum blend by any stretch, but I just feel that it it doesn't quite live up to its hype in both print and in scent. <laughs> it's good, I mean, but it doesn't knock you over. Uh, so, unless I'm doing something wrong, if you see them doing something wrong, please tell me, let me know. Uh, I've, I've aired it out some, so it, it's not as moist. <laughs> and let it dry out some. I've packed it as I think it, it's supposed to be packed in my pipe. I've used a large sized bowl pipe to smoke it in to give it room. Didn't pack it too tightly. So... They actually, they really did. It has strength to it. It's very interesting. It's good. It's just not great. So Blockade Runner, if you're looking for something that's a very mild flavor of rum, then this is the tobacco for you. Uh, I'll keep on smoking it, I might give, give you an update at some future date, but right now, it's only okay. Until next time, this is Pipe Lawyer saying cheers, and remember, I'll present the evidence, but you be the judge. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.